Mike and Teresa have no idea what they're dealing with when they come across an old tiny stone house in the middle of the woods. They can't find anything about their find online, and it's like no one has ever seen this thing before. While at first only confused by their discovery, they become very frightened when they look inside the house. Very scared, and they should be. The house was hiding a big secret. Mike and Teresa were completely stunned by what they saw. Why was there a stone house in the middle of the forest? Looks like it must have been there for years. As they got closer, they began to hear a strange noise, a sound that didn't belong in the woods. She soon heard the noise coming from the little house. Mike saw the expression on Teresa's face change as she slowly reached into the cottage, trying to get something out of it. Mike, you're not going to believe this, she said. What had Teresa just found in the little house? And why had no one discovered this before? Before we start, can we get this video to 1,000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. The couple had seen everything from homeless camps to wild animals on their walks. Their good friend Jonathan also went with them, even though he wasn't much of an outdoorsman. Mike and Teresa had no reason to doubt his intentions, but there was more going on than Jonathan showed. Something that was very unusual, that no paths seemed to match their maps. The markings in the real forest didn't match their maps. They even had several, but none seemed to fit. Teresa thought they might not be allowed to be in this part of the wildlife sanctuary, but none of them had seen a sign along the way. They tried to find it on their phones, but they had no coverage in the remote area. Jonathan chose a path that he thought would help them. Mike and Teresa followed. As they walked deeper into the woods, Mike got the sense that something wasn't right. Finally, Teresa decided to recheck their location. She was glad they were walking in the right direction after all. When they arrived in the middle of the nature reserve, Jonathan became visibly excited and started walking faster and faster. As Mike and Teresa walked toward the clearing, they realized something else was there. Mike approached cautiously, yet he suddenly fell forward. He had gotten his foot caught in something. Teresa hurried over to help him take off his hiking boot and free himself. But when they looked up, Jonathan was gone. Mike saw a structure a little further ahead, which was a small stone house. Judging by the ivy, it had been there for several decades. But why would anyone stretch wires around an abandoned house? Or was the house not abandoned at all? Suddenly, Jonathan appeared on the other side of the house. Just then, they heard a strange noise. It seemed as if something or someone was still in the house. Teresa found a small window on the ground floor through which she could see inside. At first glance, all she saw was an empty room. Teresa noticed that there was a small box with the wires attached to it. It didn't seem dangerous, but it was very strange. They had so many questions when Jonathan suddenly saw something in one of the trees. Teresa begged him to back off, but Jonathan walked towards it. It was a camera attached to the tree. Now they were sure someone was watching them. The tiny house's device was still blinking. They must have triggered some sort of alarm. Then suddenly it stopped blinking and Teresa heard a sound in the distance. Who approached them? Teresa hurried over to Mike and Jonathan to say someone was coming. Now she heard all three footsteps and without hesitation, the group took off. Jonathan took the device with him because he wanted to find out what it was. Then they heard someone screaming in the distance. The device started making noise again and Mike yelled to Jonathan to drop it. They were probably able to trace the device. However, Jonathan was very stubborn and didn't want to leave it behind. Did he have a secret agenda? Teresa wanted to find out who was following them and why. Mike didn't want to leave her alone and hesitantly agreed to the plan. Mike and Teresa were startled to see two German shepherds approaching. Then suddenly the dog was whistled away and a mysterious man approached them. Who was he? The man didn't seem to have any bad intentions, but why was he following them? They didn't have the device with them anymore, but maybe the dogs picked up on their scent. The man came up to them and asked what they were doing here. Mike was relieved that he just wanted to talk to them. It turned out to be the ranger and his name from Peter. Peter was investigating why a device was active in this part of the forest, and he had a lot of questions for the couple. Teresa and Mike explained why they were here and that they had found the little stone house. They said they had no intentions. Peter also asked where the device was now, but why did he want to know? Was there something Mike and Teresa didn't know? 
They said that Jonathan had brought the device, and Peter could see that Jonathan was close to the edge of the woods. Even his dogs wouldn't be able to catch up with him. The ranger invited Mike and Teresa to his cabin to explain everything. Peter told them that the little house was under guard, but he couldn't tell exactly why. It was a leftover part of a closed amusement park that he wanted to protect. He had accidentally left the device there himself. It was quite expensive, so he wanted it back. Teresa and Mike believed Peter, but felt he was only half the truth. Jonathan, meanwhile, was still missing. He had taken the device with him and thought he had found something very special. Teresa tried to call Jonathan to explain everything to him. However, Jonathan didn't answer. Mike was frustrated with how Jonathan had handled the whole situation and just left them behind. Then they heard a voice in the distance, and it was to their great surprise Jonathan. Except he didn't have the device with him. Peter immediately wanted to know where the device was, but Jonathan wouldn't reveal it. Finally, Peter began to tell them the whole story. There was a rare species of animal that had been spotted there. Peter didn't want anyone else to claim his discovery, so he left the device behind. Jonathan was disappointed. He thought he had found something very special. He apologized to Mike and Jonathan. A few days later, they saw Peter in the paper, including a thank you to the three for their help.